Jeremy and Sita, thank you so much for coming to my house and in my studio and doing this interview. The reason why we're doing this interview today is because we're neighbors, and mm -hmm. I think more people should know about you. I think you're fucking awesome, and you have a lot going on. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You have a lot going on, and I want to bring you into the light as much as I can with my fans so that they can just feel like you're one of the brothers, because you are, as far as I'm concerned. So let's get to know you a little bit more. Jeremy, you're a director, producer, you're a photographer, and you're a zine editor, right? Yes. It's a lot of shit. It's yeah. a lot of shit. Cheers to you. <laughs> well, it's not if you hustle, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm always busy. I don't take a break if I don't need to. So, it says you moved to Los Angeles in 1999, last yes. millennium. Yes. Oh, God. Really hate <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a car from 1999. <laughs> so, you moved from the Midwest. Where did you, where did you move from? Like, where are you from? Um, I grew up in the suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. Suburbs of St. Louis, right on. Yeah. So you moved to Los Angeles in 1999. Yeah. And you're still here today. Yeah, I originally came out here to go to college and finish college, and I just stayed. So you went to art school, right? I just yes. Same, yeah. Very nice. So here you are, living in downtown Los Angeles, hustling. Mad respects, brother. So let's get into what you do. You're a director. And mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about your direction. Um, I work at randyblue.com and I've directed a few of their uh, featured films. But I also direct a lot of their daily scenes that we shoot. Nice. So like yeah. full, full time day job is Randy Blue? Yeah, yeah. My day job is uh, Randy Blue. And that includes uh, your production management as well? Yeah, I run the production over there. Yeah. So, but your photography, that's something different, right? Like that's yeah. like almost like a third entity. You have your yeah. magazine, you have, you have your photography, and yeah. how long have you been a photographer for? I, right, out, right out of college, so about 10 years now. Professionally for 10 yeah, years? Yeah. yeah, I started with the, the good old headshots. Headshots? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Do you still, could you do my headshot if I asked, or is it you just... Yeah, yeah, oh, right now, I don't like... I kind of want one. A headshot. Yeah, like an actual headshot. Like an actual headshot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started with that, and you know, I don't, you don't push that that much, but yeah, I do all portraits. Headshot by Jamie Lucido. It's actually Smokey. <laughs> your view of the adult industry, according to your website, and you are quoted, is bland and jaded. So if you could just explain to me a little bit like why maybe you felt that way, or why you feel that way about the adult industry. I mean, you're in it. You obviously like it a little bit, but tell me about those feelings. You know, you know when I say that, it's because you know a lot of people come up to me and you know, letting me know that I have the dream job and, you know, oh, your day's so hard, you get to look at dick all day kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, I, I hear that all the time. And sometimes you're like, you know, I work Monday through Friday, nine to six, that's my job. Right. So it's not as, I don't have the same outlook sometimes as people that I talk to, I just kind of fake it. Oh, uh, yeah, well. So I feel like bad about it sometimes and that's why I say jaded. And yeah. Kind of like, oh, it's work, you know. But that, that gives you motivation for and creative energy to produce your for, your other venture, which is Starfucker Magazine. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And so, so, tell me a little bit about the name. Like, why Starfucker? You know, um, or Starfucker Zine. Correct. Well, it's Starfucker Magazine for search purposes. Yeah, anything, but it's a Zine. Yeah. So, um, the concept in the in the name. Like, why? You know, Starfucker started as a gay porn blog, and that's you know what I did for many years because I work. At Randy Blue, and I worked even prior to that on many sets. Um, it was kind of like a gay porn industry blog, a little bit behind the scenes, and that's how I started doing that. And but since I'm like, I kind of want to go back to my root and you know passion for photography. So I wanted to somehow incorporate, you know, Starfucker, what I've been doing as my side job, with you know my passion, art and photography. So it's kind of like a merge of the two, you know, gay porn industry right. and, you know, something a little more artful and, you know, photography. Yeah, it's good. I, li I, like, uh, I like how it's all black and white. It's really cool. I mean, yeah. I like the picture of uh, that gentleman laying in the L.A. River. I think that's my favorite, dude. I'm I know. I can easily copy it anytime. I don't. I just, you I should. Just, I want to. I like more <laughs> nasty water in there. I look at like, today. It's nasty. Yeah, it's, oh, it's nasty. It's Even like when we're down there. <laughs> I had him in a jock strap and gagged him and tied him. Yeah. 
there was like a couple homeless dudes watching and cheering them on. Cash. It's, it's, you know, not cute, but it looks hot. Right. You have currently produced how many issues of Star Trek? Um, six are out and available now, and I'm working on the seventh right now. Nice. It should be done fairly soon. So you'll probably have it done by the end of February? Probably. That's my goal. That's what I've been like sitting at home trying and pushing to get done. So, so quarterly-ish magazine? It's mag quarterly-ish. Mag quarterly yeah. yeah. It takes more, it yeah. takes less, whatever. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> I'm a little past the quarterly, so I just started it's going, too oh, <laughs> quarterly-ish. It's, it's too time, It's time to sue me. You can't rush it. <laughs> So how can how can the fans get Starfucker magazine? How do they get it in their hands? Um, the easiest way and the most common is uh, starfuckermagazine.com. Um, I sell most of everything online, and you know it depends on cities. I'm in a few stores in LA, um, San Francisco, and Philadelphia. So cool. Uh, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> so with that you can check on the website as well. So can you you can pre-order it now from what I read as well, right? Yeah, issue seven is already available for pre-order. And I'm on I'm on the cover of issue seven. Yes, you are. So even more reason for you to get it. It's a, a collector's item. Yes, it's going to be a very hot one, definitely. Yeah, I haven't even seen the pictures. Of, I don't even want to. I think I'm going to surprise. Well, I'm not done yet. But they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. But we did an Indian headdress, sailor, sailor window um, maybe or something. Some on the sofa, sofa. and some in the shower. Well, yeah, shower. And you with like a fur thing. Fur thing. And it was like village people there. <laughs> it was <laughs> this construction work. Issue seven is a little bit of a departure because I'm actually using a few props because that's not necessarily my natural way of shooting people. But so um, it's fun though. We're right not. Right on. So um, we're gonna offer, or you're gonna offer a promo code for Benjamin Godfrey fans exclusively. Yeah. Correct. Yes. I'm so. Excited. So the, the promo code that you're going to want to use is BGDL, Benjamin Godfrey Diamond Launch, just like my hashtag on Twitter. Yes. Yeah. So use BGDL promo code and get free shipping. Or what is it? 10 uh, or 15% off. 15% off. You know what? He's so generous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to hold a gun to his head. 15% off. So <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Benjaminians. Awesome. And finally... If you want to follow Jeremy on Twitter, he's an interesting man. He does tons of cool stuff. He's in the industry, very relevant to this day. Um, and his Twitter is at Jeremy uh, Lucido. At Jeremy Lucido. Facebook? So, Jeremy Lucido. Oh, and then Tumblr? Jeremy Lucido photo. How about Foursquare? You have a I'm Stalking Jeremy folder. Yeah, on Foursquare, I'm Jeremy Lucido. He's around. And Instagram. And Instagram, Jeremy Lucido. He's around. He's here to stay. He's doing great things. And I'm... Um, Happy that he's here today and glad we could introduce him. So, more power to you, bro. Thank you. Thank All you right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. See you. See ya. <laughs> now, open your mind up and listen to me.